Hello friends. So, next video today we'll add some well, we'll add some more entries to your tiles and furniture list on this side. So you can expand with the current tile sets you have and then in a future tutorial we can talk about adding custom tile sets. So, to access this, you can double click any of these entries and it's going to pop up a different screen. I'm going to try and scale it down a little yeah come on a little bit yeah there we go so we can actually see what we're doing and as you can see on the left side all the entries here are the same ones for me as the ones that are in this menu you can add new ones duplicate them. you can rename them reorganize them by shoving them up and down in the list and most important you can add more stuff so let's say there's an exterior wall in I think yeah I think that's a good option so let's let's do that for for starters so if we go to walls there's gonna be commercial one two and three if I'm mistaken commercial three is not in your wall list by default so we're gonna add those so in this case we're gonna scroll all the way down hit plus and then it's as simple as dragging these in there and in this case it already has the right layout for you so you can just drag it in there and then that's it if you hit OK in your exterior walls option it should be there so if you go to go boy commercial should be there we go so now I have it twice because I already had it before but if I drag it out you can see that's the, the new wall we just added to it and if I go back and get rid of it okay you can see that it's now gone because now I only have one entry which was my previous one so that's basically how you can add more stuff same goes for all the furniture so if you go to uh, I have my own bedroom furniture sets which I will show you in a future video so you can have your own stuff your own custom tiles add those in and then you can just drop them in easily just like the, the vanilla stuff I think that's it for adding entries a good tip as well which I'm going to give you guys if you want to draw a wall and you have the wall tool selected you can select of course any wall and draw it oh, there we go, exterior. but if you don't have the wall tool selected so in this case maybe I have object mode selected and I change the selection in my exterior walls it's also going to change it, it's going to change the selection on the outside because you have, don't have a wall tool selected good tip to keep in mind you will probably find this out yourself if you don't even watch this video that's good but it's a good one to know in oh, another one you can also select the walls you've drawn in this case the empty one and then oh yeah, I thought it would work I thought you could change that never mind never mind on that one just keep the previous tip in mind and the tip for the thousand furniture list thanks for watching